Hello, we're reading from Derek Bell's Faces of the Bottom of the Well, and we're reading from the section called Space Traders. And um, aliens come to the United States, come to Earth, they come to the United States, they have all the resources the United States needs, they want black bodies in return. And this is what um, lawmakers are doing to deal with this trade. In response, a coalition of liberal opponents to the space traders offer sought to combine pragmatism and principle in what they call their slippery trade slope argument. First, they proclaim the strong moral position that trading away a group of Americans identifiable by race is wrong and violates our basic principles. The coalition aimed its major thrust, however, at the self-interest of white Americans. Does not co- um, co-signing, I think it's supposed to be, blacks to an unknown fate set a dangerous precedent. The liberals demanded who will be next. In full page as they pressed the point, are we cannibals ready to consume our own for profit? And if we are, the blacks may be only the first. If the space traders return with an irresistible offer for another group, the precedent will have been set and none of us will be safe. Certainly not minorities, Hispanics, Jews, Asians, and perhaps not even those of us identifiable by politics and religion or geographic location. Setting such a precedent of profit could consume us all. Astutely sidestepping the trade precedent arguments, the pro-trade response focused on the past sacrifices of blacks. In each instance it went, the sacrifice of black rights was absolutely necessary to accomplish an important government purpose. These decisions were neither arbitrary nor capricious. Without the compromises on slavery in the Constitution of 1787, there would be no America. Nor would there be any framework under which those opposed to slavery could continue the struggle that eventually led to the Civil War and Emancipation. We're a different group of people because of our circumstances and where and how might slavery have ended had a new government had had a new government not been formed on what foundation would the post-civil war amendments been appended sacrifices by blacks were made but those sacrifices were both necessary and eventually rewarded to blacks as well as the nation encountering the anti-trade contention that the sacrifice of black rights was both evil and unprecedented. Pro-trader, pro-traders claim, beginning with the Civil War in which black people gained their liberty, this nation has called on its people to serve in its defense. Many men and women have voluntarily enlisted in the armed services, but literally millions of men have been conscripted, required to serve their country and if necessary, to sacrifice not simply their rights, but also their lives. As for the argument that the sacrifice of black rights and political compromises was odious, racial discrimination, pro-trade forces contended that fortuitous fate and not blatant racism should be held responsible. Just as men and not women are included into the military, and even then only men of a certain age and physical or mental condition. So only some groups are destined by their role in the nation's history to serve as catalysts for stability and progress. All Americans are expected to make sacrifices for the good of their country. Black people are no, are no exception to this basic obligation of citizenship. Their role may be special, but so is that of many of those who serve. The role that blacks may be called on to play in response to the space traders offer is however regrettable. Neither, neither immoral nor unconstitutional. A tremendous groundswell of public agreement <clears throat> with the pro-trade position drowned out the anti-trade com complaints of unfairness. Powerful as would have been the notion of seeing the space traders offer as no more than a fortuitous circumstance in which blacks might be called on to sacrifice for their country. The racial sacrifice as history, as a historic necessity argument 
made the pro-trade position irresistible to millions of voters and to their congressional representatives. And there you go. Um, black people are always sacrificed. And um, we're at a point where we don't have to sacrifice black people anymore because of technological gains, because of the new money system that we have. So now there's no excuse for us not to have freedom in our actual society. Um, it's a great work. You should get it, read it, have it as a reference guide. Um, until next time, and I'm not finished, I'm still, we're still in this section, we still have, um, two, three, four, still got four more pages, so I want to say thank you for supporting me, take care of your mind, take care of your body, and please be safe, please be safe.